Hey guys, Kevin with Godlike Incorporated and Totally Wicked Audio. On the eve of releasing the new uh, TWA Triskelion Mark III, I'm here to tell you about the, a little bit of history about the pedal, how we came about uh, developing the circuit and so forth and so on, a little bit of history, background and whatnot. So if you're looking for demos, this is not the place. This is for the, uh, the long drawn out uh, babbling of the owner of Totally Wicked Audio. So here we go. Um, <laughs> so. We started TWA back in 2009 was the first year that we announced a release um, basically to commemorate the uh, financial crash of global financial crash of 2009. So um, we showed up to a very poorly attended NAM show in 2009 with the first TWA pedal, which was the Little Dipper. And we were really excited to be doing our own product. We had always wanted to do something. I'm a tweaker. I'm a pedal collector. I've been for many, many years. And uh, while we were at NAMM, hanging out with my buddy Trevor, and we we're talking, we're like, what else can we do besides the Little Dipper? Everybody was excited about it. So what's the next TWA pedal? Let's start talking about it. Let's start spitballing. And I was like, what's this? You know, we were looking at all the, I like rare stuff. I like weird stuff. I'm not a Tube Screamer guy necessarily, although of course I've done Maxon for 22 years now. So inadvertently I am a Tube Screamer guy, but um, personally I'm a tweaker. And I like oddball things and weird things and uh, rare things is, is the thing that I'm really into. So one of the rarest was this uh, thing called a harmonic energizer. And back in the day, I had no idea what that was. This is in early stages of even the internet. This is before everybody had every schematic on the internet and were building kits of everything. So what, what's a harmonic energizer? Well, who knows? Nobody knew even, or at least me and Trevor didn't know. So. Uh, Trevor and I. So uh, get home, get settled in after NAM, go up on eBay. And lo and behold, what do I find? But a harmonic energizer. So I bought it for a lot of money. Um, but well worth it because it's really, really cool. So get it and start playing with it and realize, okay, this is, some, you know, this is cool. It's like some kind of booster, uh, basically like a mid range booster with tons of gain and you can use it to kind of sculpt your tone and whatnot. And not really something for bass. I'm a bass player, but you could use it for bass cause it's got a really low frequency. It's got a wide sweep, like 150 to like two kilohertz, something like that. Um, but it's cool. So we said, let's make one, let's make a TWA version. And so we spent all of 2009 working on it. And in, at NAMM 2010, we announced the release of the TWA Triskelion Harmonic Energizer Mark I. And I say Mark I because there's more than this after Mark I, because um, we're never satisfied with what we do, basically. But uh, we announced this at NAMM. Everybody was really excited about it. 2010, I get back from NAMM. And in my email inbox, there's an email from Dweezil Zappa saying, hey, my dad used to use the, uh, the Sistec. Um, I'd like to check out your version. Can you send me a couple? So I send him one. He goes, yeah, this is great. Exactly what I'm looking for. Can you send me two more? So at that point, we only had the prototypes. So I actually wound up, we had to build a, another prototype for him and we actually had to send him the prototype units. Um, so, and he's been using them on and off ever since in different rigs, because he's always changed his rig. But um, Sometimes when you see videos by him, he's still got them in there in his rack. So did the Mark one, put it out, sold several hundred of them over the years, uh, from like 2010 into like, you know, I don't know, 2013, something like that. And when we were getting towards the end of the production run, there were some things we wanted to kind of massage about the circuit. Mainly we wanted to make the, the chassis a little bit smaller, a, li a little more pedal board friendly. So we started to work on a new version. And then in, by 2015, we released the Triskelion Mark II, which is right here. So Triskelion Mark II, um, basically in a smaller Hammond style chassis, which wound up not saving us any money whatsoever. It basically cost just about the same. Um, we also lost the, uh, the cool LED, uh, flashing LED array that we did with the Mark I, because that was also very expensive to do. That was back when it was form was uh, form was more important than function, basically. So uh, put this out. We added some cool new features. Uh, also, our engineer Robert Derby, he um, basically rebuilt the entire filter circuit without telling me about it. But he did it uh, in a special way using a certain op amp 
in order to reduce uh, the residual noise in the circuit. And so this pedal, even though it's super high gain, it's also extremely quiet for a high gain pedal. Um, and that's really good because if you're using it into a dirty amp um, and you're using a lot of level, it's not noisy, which is really, really great and useful. Um, so put this out, people were digging it, people were using it, sold a bunch of them. And, uh, but still I felt like we could, I kept looking at the circuit and going, well, one of the reasons we put it in this box was because initially we did have the LED, uh, flashing LED array going, but it was leaking noise into the audio and we couldn't figure out a, an easy way to, to solve that problem. So we just pulled the flashing LED array. So basically we're going, okay, we're not using the LED array. That's why you need the big box. So can we downsize this thing into a smaller box? And that's how we get to the Mark III. There was also some slightly different uh, differences in audio between the Mark I and Mark II. We lost a, a, a couple of maybe, maybe 30 hertz of low end on the Mark II, which I wanted to get back. And we also had this cool uh, frequency boost feature on the Mark I that basically shifts the frequency, whatever frequency band you have the, it's set at, it shifts it up an octave. So it's a really quick way to get a, a cool different sound out of the pedal. And um, we like the, the ability to shut off the gain, which we have on the Mark II that the Mark I didn't have. And uh, we also like the expression pedal control of the frequency. So we were able to squeeze all that stuff into this pedal. It was a big challenge, but we were able to do it. So basically we used uh, 3.5 millimeter uh, phone jacks for the expression out and for the foot switch out to shut the gain on and off. But you can also do it with this uh, mini toggle here as well. And that's it. So this is the Mark III Triskelion. Sounds fantastic. We also noticed um, when we were doing the AB, final AB tests with all the different pedals that the Mark I and Mark II were not quite as loud as the uh, Sistec at full volume. So we were able to get that extra little volume bump and put it into the Mark III as well. One thing I didn't mention is that after I found the first harmonic energizer, I also found a second harmonic energizer in the box and had to have it. So here it is. And uh, this was a, basically a new old stock Sistec harmonic energizer that uh, eBay was kind enough to offer to me, the, the gods of eBay. So there you go. Uh, and it's been uh, hermetically sealed in plastic ever since, uh, taken out every once in a while to impress people such as you. And that's it. So that's the history of the Triskelion in a nutshell. And I don't think there's gonna be a Mark IV because I think we actually finally got everything we wanted to into this Mark III and we're really excited about that. So TWA, Triskelion, Harmonic Energizer, check it out on our website, godlike.com or totallywickedaudio.com. Um, also, if you wanna see videos of what this pedal sounds like, go to our YouTube channel, Godlike Inc like and subscribe and uh, make sure to press the bell notification and then you get updates whenever we release new video uh, footage and what we're gonna uh, what we're gonna do is there's a demo up there now by our boy Ray Sui and what we're gonna do uh, in a little bit next time we get Ray uh, together with Ray is we're gonna do some ABs against this Mark III with the Mark I, Mark II and the original SysTech as well just so you guys can hear you know whatever subtle differences there are or aren't because uh, I think we really nailed it with this one okay Thanks guys, see ya.